The show, done in mock documentary style, shows what it thinks might happen if Prince Harry actually were to be captured by the Taliban while serving in Afghanistan. It's infuriated the British military, which has asked that it not be aired. But the show's makers have refused to pull it, saying it doesn't increase a risk that is already there. We had very, uh, um, a, a panel of extremely credible experts helped us to put this film together, and they all agreed that it's simply wrong to say that these ideas aren't already out there. Uh, we know that jihadi websites have been calling for uh, Prince Harry to be targeted. What this program does is asks in a rather serious way um, whether we're doing enough to protect Prince Harry and to protect high-value targets, other high-value targets, when they go out there to the, uh, to the front. When Prince Harry was actually in Afghanistan in real life in early 2008, he was forced to leave after 10 weeks of duty when knowledge of his presence there became public. He has since said he would like to go back and is not worried as much about the plot of the show as about who's in it. Prince Harry um, is a little bit sort of cheeky and thinks that he's more concerned about the sort of how good looking is the guy who actually plays him in the movie. And he's not that good looking. And worse than that, having seen the documentary, not a brilliant actor. But that said, how would you portray somebody that you don't really know that much about? So you're, you're really going on nothing. But it is more farcical than, you know, reality. But others who have been captured by the Taliban take it more seriously and warn that allowing Harry to return would be like sending out an invitation for trouble. They certainly talked about getting high-profile targets. They want to do as much as possible to show their strength. And one thing they did say is, we are everywhere. There's no place that's safe in Afghanistan. Prince Harry is the spare heir to the throne. His brother William, next in line after his father Prince Charles, takes a more realistic view of fighting on the front. He realizes it's out of the question and is a little envious of his younger, cheekier brother. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.